Hi friends, happy Monday to you. I hope that you all had a beautiful weekend. Happy post Valentine's Day. Happy, well, I don't know all the days in the world, but happy family day to those in Canada. Maybe President's Day in the States. I don't know what else. It's a holiday for some of us today. <sighs> Sorry, my pants are so tight, I can't breathe. <laughs> so for today's vlog, I wanted to catch you guys up on the last week in a bit. It's actually been over a week since we last filmed a video. So I have a few things I wanna catch you guys up on. If you didn't watch the end of my last video, then <sighs> howdy, hey, ho. We've been going through some stuff. I just wanted to thank you guys all so much for your wonderful comments and well wishes and um yeah thank you so much for your understanding on the last week you guys are amazing thank you for all the love i know myself and my family really appreciate it yeah i definitely took took the necessary days of doing nothing uh today when i woke up this morning i really wanted to get up and back to it back to work i actually filmed this makeup look this morning you guys will be seeing that later this week i'm really excited about it actually there's some really fun new products popping up here so stay tuned for that this makeup look is coming oh like you're like i really really can't breathe on these but that's that guys back to it getting back to it it actually felt so good to put makeup on sometimes you know you just really have to absorb those days where you're like i can't possibly look at makeup or think about getting ready or putting makeup on my face but the days that you do you're just like oh i feel i feel so much like brighter and better for it getting ready and putting makeup on if you're feeling down really does make such a difference like i just you know there's nothing a little bronzer can't fix, am I right? <laughs> anyway, I've made a mint tea. And I just wanted to sit down with you guys and kind of like, it's an impromptu favorites, I guess you could call it. I basically wanted this vlog to be a little catch up over the last week, fill you guys in on some things that have happened, some products I've gotten, some things that I just haven't otherwise mentioned in videos that I'm using or loving. So it's like technically a favorites, but it's just not a beauty favorite. So I don't even know what I'm gonna title this video, like random things I'm loving, maybe. Basically just wanted to bring you up to speed on some new things. I even wrote a list. I titled this random new shit that's fab. <laughs> in asterisk catching up on the last week so that's what we're gonna do today guys i just wanted to talk about some things that have been bringing me some joy lately and catch you guys up on some products and whatnot so i guess the first thing i already technically showed it i get so many questions from you guys about my apple watch and phone cases and all that good stuff i did recently upgrade to the iphone 12 pro and i had um i think it was called the nula case i actually bought it after i said listen I'm such an influenced soul by other influencers. Like I scroll on Instagram and I basically need to have a notepad of all the things that I buy from seeing it on Instagram and YouTube. It's, it's a terrible habit, but Nikki underscore makeup was talking about this phone case she had that like sticks to mirrors and windows and whatnot. And so I bought it instantly, obviously, because it was perfect. But I realized because we have our windows frosted in most of the rooms, it doesn't stick to the frosting overlay, so it kind of went unused for the purpose I bought it for anyway. Anyway, then Dan was saying that I need to get the MagSafe charger. I guess that's the whole thing with the iPhone 12. I don't know. That's Dan's jurisdiction and knowledge. Uh, but he was like, get the MagSafe, you need it. So he got me the MagSafe charger, and then I just got this from the Apple store. It's this lovely, I think, I can't remember right off the top of my head. I think it was called California Poppy, this color, but it's just an ongoing uh, theme uh, of these last few weeks. I'm just looking for more things to bring brightness into my day. And I just wanted to get a really fun, crazy color. And this is cool because it sticks to the charger. Like you don't actually have to plug it in. You just bloop, it magnets to the charger and you can buy like stands for it and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, so I got this nice bright colored phone case, which just gives you a burst of fruity goodness every time you look at it. And then I also updated my Apple watch strap. I don't know what series this was, but this watch is now two years old. So I think it was four, Apple series four, regardless, it's the smaller face. And I just buy the straps at the Apple store. Like this is the silicone strap. I had the previous gray one that just got disgusting. You guys, it got so gross. It was time to get a new one. <laughs> it had literally turned like brown and green from my like bodily gunk. It was so disgusting. And I clean them like every time I work out, I clean this little silicone strap in my watch. So it's super rude that it got as dirty as it did, but two years, 
yeah, like I get it, I get it. Next, I wanted to mention, this is actually a very exciting little thing. I recently, in January, I did a sponsored post with Super Goop for their sunscreen. And I've been using their products for a little while now, but my favorite out of the bunch, 100% is the glow screen. I love this one. It's like this shimmery, beautiful, bronzing kind of priming-esque product that you can add into anything when you're doing your makeup. You can use it as a base under your makeup. You can mix it in with stuff. In the summer, I was wearing this alone, like just mixed in with face cream. It's such a beautiful multi-use, shimmering, glowing sunscreen product. It's so brilliant. And for the longest time for a while, it wasn't available on Sephora Canada, which is why I didn't actually use it in that post I did with Supergoop because the actual post was with Sephora Canada. But now my friends, I'm happy to report that glow screen from Supergoop is officially on Sephora Canada. So for my Canadian pals, you can finally get your hands on this, which is very exciting. Wanted to mention that. Another post that I did, I realized like with horror that I haven't actually talked about this in a video yet, the M Face Cuddle, absolutely fabulous. It's a moisturizing kind of anything balm. You can use it all over your body and it just provides intense moisture. And for those of you who have been around for a long time, you'll know, you will know my love for the Cora Organics Noni Glow Balm. I don't know how many years it's been. I wanna say two that I've featured this on my channel. I can't tell you how many of these I've gone through, how many giveaways I've included this in. I've given it to so many of my friends and family. Like this has seen the world with me, this Noni Glow Balm. Wow, even smelling it now, it's such a difference because this one just has no scent. Like it's just nothing irritating whatsoever. And that was the biggest complaint I actually got from you guys. Anytime I talked about this Noni Glow Balm, so many of you would say that coconut oil irritates you and breaks you out. You can't use it, it's too slimy. But like the main thing being the coconut oil. So even though this didn't bother me, I don't seem to have a problem with coconut oil. So many of you over the years that I used this said that you weren't able to use it because it had some irritating ingredients. So. For those of you who have been asking about a difference between these, that's basically it. Like it completely does the same thing. The packaging is as delightful and travel friendly, wandering around in your purse, wherever you wanna bring it, but it's not formulated with coconut oil. It doesn't have anything that is irritating for the skin and it doesn't have as strong of a scent, if any scent at all, I really can't smell anything there. But when I smell this one, it's like, huh. Yeah, okay. Now the price differences, if I'm correct, ooh, I think this is 35 USD. This is $22 USD, but you get double the product in here. You actually have double the amount in here. So even though the prices look to be a little, this one actually ends up being cheaper as well overall. So you're saving a couple dollars getting this one. Uh, yeah, and just, I was just very excited. You guys know I love obviously products like this. So when M Cosmetics said they were coming out with it, I was like, yes, let me try it. Let me put it on my face. This is very exciting. And it's just great to know that you have a non-irritating, like equally as hydrating and slightly cheaper option on the market. So that was that. Sorry, I hadn't mentioned it before. I literally like filmed my favorites and I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I actually wanted to give you guys a, a nail update. I know, I frequently give you nail updates and I feel like I have to update you as we go along. And over the last, I don't know how many months it's been, but I've been in a good place with my nails. We were on a good place when the salons were open. And then I've been making do with my at-home manicures. You know, I've been rocking the black polish, wearing it all the time. And my nails were growing at a nice steady pace. And then the last like two weeks of my life happened. <laughs> And whenever I'm like stressed or feeling any type of like anxious way, I just bite all my nails off. And uh, it's been a long time since that has happened at the capacity that it has, but my friends, I have bitten all of my nails off. This side is getting a little bit okay, but these ones I had bitten straight to the nubbin. It was so bad, I'm so upset because also, hello, my job and my life is on camera. Like I'm constantly using my fingers and now I just have these bitten, scraped off nubbins, but sometimes you just can't help how you feel and I took it out of my nails. <laughs> so that's a tragic little update there. My nails are no more and I'm gonna be back on the growing train, but I've been trying to soak them in hand cream. I wanted to mention that I am almost, almost on the last little nibbles of the Caudalie 
brightening hand cream. I love this one. It's supposed to be allegedly very good for like aging and brightening up your hands, just keeping the keeping the youth and the glow in your hands. And I really like the smell. I actually keep this one in particular on my bedside table. So that's probably why it's used because I pretty much put it on every night. I have the Cotyle body lotion there too. Um, so that's what I'm kind of doing, trying to help with the, the dry hands. And then I actually got this in the mail. I kept the little card because I wanted to remember what their handle was. Yeah, because it was kind of, I didn't even know you could have dots in your Instagram thing. But anyway, their thing is cutieoils.co. It's a local brand. And they sent this really cute, literally cute. <laughs> cutie oil and it smells really good what flavor is this one olivine sweet vanilla warm amber with a hint of sandalwood and blackberry i just like it it's kind of just like a fancy upgraded version of your cuticle oil and it smells so good i really like the little doe foot applicator here so cutie oils thank you i wanted to give it a mention because my cuticles are in dire need after being bitten apart by my mouth <laughs> So I'm just gonna be painting this on my fingers all day. I'm gonna put that with my hand cream right back into my bedside table and try my best. Not even try, no, I can't say try anymore. I just must simply do. I must, oh, this one just came out. Hi, hello. I must put this on my hands every day, if not multiple times a day, and I need to remember. So that's kind of my nail update. A few little products there, <laughs> as was. I thought I had posted this, but I don't think I had. You guys, the Anna edit. Anna, beautiful Anna came out with a stationary collaboration with a brand called Appointed. And she came out with these beautiful products, came out with a planner, I think a, a calendar, and then these lovely little to-do list notebooks. And obviously I ordered immediately. I set an alarm for when it came out. And I actually ordered the task planner, which Obviously, I haven't even opened yet. I haven't used this. I've been bad. I need to I need to pull this open But this beautiful task planner for the year, which I'm so excited to dive into absolutely gorgeous cover here But the one thing that I have been using and one of them is already almost gone But she came out with these amazing to-do lists I'm a huge to-do list writer. I have sticky notes and sticky pads, whatever, all over the place. I'm constantly writing myself notes. And literally, guys, I write a square. I draw a little square whenever I'm making my list or to-do list or what have you. And so she made them. These have the little square already written on it. It was perfect. So simple, so cute, very aesthetically pleasing. And I bought two of them because I knew that I'd absolutely rip through this. So these were brilliant. And I don't know if they're still available. I, I have a feeling it was like a one-time launch. If that's the case, then that's very sad. But otherwise, maybe Appointed has these lists on hand usually anyway. If so, I need a lifetime supply. <laughs> so this was a fabulous, fabulous collab from Anna. Very excited. And yeah, I've been using these like crazy. The next favorite I want to talk about is in the little bathroom here. Unis momentus. The Hue hand wash. I bought this instantly when it came out. I love Jen Atkin and everything that she does. And the hand wash is amazing. It's amazing. Very aesthetically pleasing bottle. Normally we use the Aesop wash. This is the one without the little beads, but you, it's expensive. We love our bougie hand washes in this household, but you know, We've been using this for a long time. I think the first time I actually bought this was when I moved into my second apartment in Vancouver. I remember buying it and putting it in the bathroom and I was like, oh yes, I'm an adult. <laughs> it was just one of those like move in things I had bought to treat myself. And yeah, we've been using it since, love it. It is a pricey number. I wanted to say that if you're looking for a new lovely bougie hand wash, the Hue, I say Hue out of fun, it's Hue, but love it, it smells delicious. Another little update, the book I read this last, well, yeah, it was this last week that I read it actually, uh, Lore by Alexandra Bracken. Normally I buy paperback books because the sleeves on hardcovers really bother me and I always end up taking them off. <laughs> no different with this one. Um, I read, you know, I actually Googled how to say this and there were many opposing ways on how to say it, but Circe, 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 such an amazing book. One of those books that when you finish it, you're devastated about it, like you didn't want it to end. I wish someone could zap my memory on it and I could re-experience the entire book itself. It was so great and it was 
basically based on a story from Greek mythology and it was unreal. I'm not gonna do it any justice if I try to explain it, but it was so fabulous. I also read The Song of Achilles by the same author and I, I didn't like it so much, which so many of you messaged me saying, oh my God, The Song of Achilles was so much better. I'm like, I disagree. I, I didn't like it as much, but anyway, I've been looking for another book to like satisfy my Greek mythology cravings in a, in a good read and this one came up. I think it only came out like a month ago. It's still a new book and I really, I'm sad, I'm sorry. I really didn't like it, I really, really didn't. It was like pulling teeth to get through. Lit, it's not that bad, but it just wasn't good. Like I closed it and I was like, okay, thank God, on to the next one. So if any of you have any other kind of Greek mythology based books that you have enjoyed, if you also liked books like Circe, please let me know. I, I just love everything about it. I'd actually love to just go dive into some documentaries and I love anything magical and mystical and mythical. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start reading The Vanishing Half next. A lot of you guys have been recommending that and I have that one upstairs. I actually have a solid to read pile, so I'll keep you posted. I have officially made, <laughs> I mentioned that I was gonna make it a little while ago, but I have officially made the 2021 book club highlight on my Instagram, so I will be updating there anytime I finish a book. So if you have any good book recommendations to read in this lovely new year, please do let me know. Let's bring you on over to the snack cupboard. I have some snacks to talk about. Welcome to the snack cupboard. Oh, it's gonna open the wrong way. So if you're caught up in my videos, you will know that Dan, my darling fiance and I are on a health journey. We're on a health kick for this new year. We're both so bad. We're so bad with our diets. We are deeply unhealthy and have previously been addicted to Uber Eats and we snack. <laughs> We've just been very hard on our bodies with food in the last, well, leading up to the new year, basically, especially over December, like something had to be done. We needed to take a good handle on our snacking and eating habits. Ordering butter chicken like six times a week was probably not in our best interest. <laughs> So we've been trying to find like different substitutes for our naughty favorites in our daily life. And like I just said, Dan and I, we are big snackers. I love to snack and I love finding little fun, healthy snack recipes. And there's definitely been a few that I've used over the last little bit, but in terms of like candy and actual sugar, uh, Smart Sweets, my people, Smart Sweets is where it's at. It's not sugar free, okay? There's still sugar, but it's like significantly less than your average little gummy loving candy option. <laughs> Dan's the Dan's the gummy king. He could down gummies like no tomorrow. So we make it like a part of our weekly Costco trip to pick up Smart Sweets. I actually don't like these ones. I am the red fish eater all the way. The fish are my go-to. The peach ones, the little peach rings actually aren't too bad. Um, I don't like these ones. That's why it's the only one left because we have yet to do our weekly Costco trip and we need to pick up more. <laughs> Need to get more red fishies, but we're also really excited because we may or may not be doing something with Smart Sweets coming up, which is like a dream come true for Dan and I because we've been such fans. The owner of Smart Sweets is actually from Vancouver, so you know, representing, I don't know what that was, oh my god, representing the homeland. So, Smart Sweets, Canadian company, hell yeah. Anyway, that's been a big candy, <laughs> satisfying favorite. Also, wanted to mention these. Oh my god. These protein chips. <sighs> they are so good. They're so good. Uh, really random fun fact, the Quest cookies and cream protein bars, that was what we used to snack on way back in the day when I worked at Mac. One of my managers there was like, it's like guilt-free chocolate bars. <laughs> It's not, it does not taste like a chocolate bar at all, but it's like good enough if you're looking for a, a healthier protein pack substitute for your chocolate eating habits. Anyway, uh, these two are my favorite, the ranch and the nacho cheese. They're so good, not good for dairy allergies. You know, so Mrs. Farts a lot comes out a lot when I eat these, but for a chip, like I'm such a chip. Oh my God, chips and popcorn are like my, they're my kryptonite. I could sit and eat like boom chicka pop kettle corn or a family sized bag of Doritos all day long. It's like my snacking nemesis. So I was just really happy to find like a substitute for that. Like if I'm gonna be naughty and if I'm gonna eat chips, oh, I can at least have it be protein in my day. Get those macronutrients in via protein chips, you know? So those have been a godsend. You can get them on Amazon, well.ca, Natura Market. Lots of places carry the chips and all the flavors. 
All the flavors are delicious. Whatever suits your fancy, guys. Those chips have been like a snacking dream. Um, may or may not have like fully stocked boxes of them in the cupboards because that's how much we have been loving them. The final update. <laughs> I posted her on Instagram and so many of you were like, oh my God, what happened? Need to give you a Meryl update because Meryl, sweet Meryl, is in the cone of shame. Oh, it's so gross. She ate her food and she like rubbed her cone all in it. Ugh. I know, I know. Oh, Meryl. Yep, yeah, Meryl is in the cone. And, you know, since Meryl's the star of the show here on YouTube, I figured I'd give you guys the update. Oh, Meryl. Miss Conehead Meryl. So it's actually been a long time that we've been trying to figure out what the deal is with Meryl. She started scratching her eye probably like very early last year, and we took her to the vet initially, and they just gave her a cream. They were like, oh, she's probably like irritated. It w oh, you know what? It was when, it was right after the first lockdown opened up. So it probably would have been in April or May, whenever that was. That was when we took her to the vet. Yeah. They were like, oh, it might just be because you guys are like inside together so much. Like she might just be irritated. I was like, okay. So they gave us a cream to put it on her eye and it kind of got better, but then it got bad again. Like it started, she started just scratching it to the point where it would like bleed and scab. And we were like, oh my God, she started losing her hair around her eye. So we took her to the vet again in the summer and they thought that it might be a chicken allergy. They said that cats very commonly have an allergy to chicken. So then they put her on this specific diet that they sold us. It was like this dry food, which Meryl normally eats wet canned food and she has like even when I adopted her they were like she eats wet food so anyway she didn't like the dry food didn't like it was like puking in protest and uh, we tried a different thing anyway it's just been like months and months of back and forth with the vets we've gone to three different vets in Toronto trying to get an answer and most recently they've put her on steroids <laughs> and a cone and this is basically just to prevent her from scratching and irritating the area more. And it's only been three days that she's had it on and already her eye is so much better, so much better. And then we have a checkup in a week after she's done her little steroid treatment and after wearing the cone for a week to see what's up. We'll get more uh, guidance from our vet at that point. I don't usually like talking about this stuff, <laughs> but I just, you know, we're listening to the vet. We're doing what we need to do for her. Currently giving her a little pill twice a day. Good girl. She takes it so well. She's so good at taking her medicine. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, Meryl's in a cone. <laughs> She's in a cone. Poor thing, oh my God, it's been, you know, it's like hilarious, but it's equally as sad watching her in her little cone. But yeah, she's being a good kitty. And other than it being covered in her food, ugh, um, she's pretty good. She's living a normal life in her little cone. So there's a Meryl update, guys. Her eyes, don't know what you're scratching for, but you're obviously allergic to something and we're just trying to figure out what it is. So hopefully they can give us an answer. So there's a little meow real update okay i need to walk away or she's gonna keep meowing and we'll never finish this vid but that's it for me today guys that's a little update a little catch up some things i'm loving some random favorites and some sweet little updates for you so thank you guys always for all of the love thank you so much for your love and endless understanding and support that you guys always bring here to this lovely little corner of the internet i appreciate it so much and i love you guys and uh yeah excited to be I know it's only been a week. It's only been a week, but it feels like like an internet when you're constantly connected. It feels so much longer than that, you know? It feels like I've been off of filming for weeks. <laughs> it feels good to be back in the makeup, back to filming, and getting back on the horse, as they say. We'll see you all very soon for a new video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!